What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Monday morning. About to hit the work. Uh, and I wanted to discuss uh, all of this hoopla uh, about uh, Big Rami not showing up for the Pittsburgh Pro. I would have reported on this earlier, but hey, yesterday was Mother's Day. Got to give kisses to my mom. And as you guys know, Big Rami did not show up for the Pittsburgh Pro. And a lot of people are just babbling off on the internet, uh, including, uh, once again, Nick Tregilli, who uh, seems to go and cause BS there and spread gossip and spread rumors there. Now, as far as his speculating is concerned, everyone has a right to speculate. The problem is, is that Nick has a, a thing about exaggerating the details. So let's go over things here properly. Now, first off, Big Rami uh, just got finished with Ramadan, you know. Ramadan is around that time there. So he has a number of obligations that he has to take up, you know. Now, as far as uh, what was stated there, and this is the same thing Nick had mentioned in the same video as him blasting him uh, for not showing up as the Pittsburgh Pro. He may have had visa issues there. And here's the thing there, Nick. Uh, Big Rami is uh, a citizen of Egypt. He is not an American citizen. He can't just get on a plane and just travel to the United States, not without a visa or anything else here. Okay? Point blank, point blank period. So if Big Rami says that he had visa issues, I mean, that's a very plausible situation there, you know? It, it, it's not easy to travel overseas uh, like it used to with all the conflict and everything. So Joe Biden is in office, but all of these types of traveling restrictions are still the same there uh, for Arabs there, you know, just point blank. You know, it was the same situation with Hadi Chupan. I mean, what can you say? It's a plausible situation. If he says that he had visa issues, I, Lord knows I'm going to believe him and everyone else should believe him there. Now, one other thing that you said in the very same sentence here is that he's no longer sponsored by uh, Enhanced Labs there. And that makes all the difference here. Because if uh, Big Rami was going to go down to the Pittsburgh Pro and show his ass cheeks for Jim Mannion and all the other people and get compared to Nick uh, Nick Walker, who is getting a lot of hype there for his size. I don't think he's going to win. I think uh, I think he's going to be relegated out of the top five there because it's one thing to get big, but you got to get uh, shredded there, you know. But a ticket from, but I'm getting off subject, a ticket to go from Egypt, uh, to the United States, along with traveling, hotels, and everything like that. That's between five to seven thousand dollars. And with Big Romney not having a sponsor, that means he has to pay it out of his own pocket. So, uh, Nick, are you going to pay his airplane tickets? Are you going to pay for his hotel? Are you going to pay for his travel or anything like that? Big Romney could have just likely just stayed home because he didn't have the money. He needs to invest money into his preparation for the Mr. Olympia. Now, he stated that he was going to show up there, but I would think that that would be in the interest that he would probably land another sponsor easily that was going to pay for his way. After all, he is the reigning and defending Mr. Olympia. But seeing as how I don't see that he's gotten any new sponsors, that seems to have not happened. So he doesn't have the money to actually travel. Bodybuilders are not rich and wealthy here, Nick. OK, they're not. So you have to make not only good business decisions, you also have to make financial decisions. Now, I would have loved to see seen Big Rami uh, at the Pittsburgh Pro, you know, but guess what? You can see him online and Instagram. L look, the Pittsburgh Pro, it used to be a major show because 20 years ago or 10 or 15 years ago, you know, there was no social media, so the Pittsburgh Pro and these other guest posing was the only way athletes could showcase their physique other than getting pimped by these bodybuilding magazines. That's not the case anymore. 
okay? You now have social media, you have Instagram, you have YouTube, and, uh, you know, all of, you have all other sorts of social media. Now, Big Rami isn't active on social media, but remember that he's in Egypt. You know, a lot of his, a lot of social media is actually monitored in Egypt there. You just can't freely post in Egypt as you could in the United States here, okay? Uh, so, again, is Rami going to retire? That's another thing that's been circulating. It, it's highly doubtful. He's not had any physical issues. I know he had COVID back in 2020, uh, but he's probably along his lines of prep, and he will show up for the Mr. Olympia Hell or Highway, you know? Or he can still have the same visa issues as Hadi Chupon had, you know? Uh, one thing you have to remember, Nick, you have to get both sides of the story. Don't act like people were trying to call him and stuff, and he was silent and everything like that. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous here. He was just silent upon answering your questions here, okay? Not everyone has to call Nick Tregilli, uh and like I said, nobody has to answer to you, okay? Period. Point blank period. So as far as Rami is concerned, and by the way, uh, Nick, he's actually guest posing a bunch in Europe. I mean, excuse me, not in Europe, but in Egypt anyway. And then around surrounding areas to where he, you know, he doesn't really need that visa in order to travel or need to spend a whole lot of money there, you know. So you need to be mindful, Nick, as well as everyone else, as far as the difficulties uh, in being a citizen of Egypt. And you're going down to fit uh, to Pittsburgh in the United States to show off your ass cheeks. So, again, Nick and everybody else, are you going to pay his plane tickets or anything like that for him? or any Egypt bodybuilders uh, to come down to Pittsburgh to show his cheeks. You expect Big Rami to go down there and uh, do quarter turns for $7,000. Are you going to pay? I mean, it, it's quite simple as that there. I don't think that he has uh, disrespected his fans whatsoever. Because at the end of the day, Nick, uh, it's not likes... Uh, on social media uh, that win bodybuilding shows, doesn't win the Mr. Olympia. Uh, physiques, uh, muscularity, and symmetry is what wins bodybuilding shows. It doesn't matter how many likes you get. Look at Phil Heath. Phil Heath was a multi-Mr. Olympia and everyone hated his guts here, literally. Everyone hated his guts, but he still kept winning because of his physique there. That's one thing you have to remember, uh, Nick. It, it's not a popularity contest. It's a bodybuilding contest, okay? And the fact of the matter is, is that come the Mr. Olympia, you know, at that point in time when Big Rami, and like I said, I assume he's going to show up for the Mr. Olympia to defend his title as well as get all that money, that's where the real story is going to go, Okay. Now he's like I said before he's not pop, he's not on social media that much but I know a lot of other bodybuilders were. And one thing you also have to remember at the Pittsburgh Pro there was only four pros there to begin with, okay? Just four. You know where there used to be 20. So why single out Big Rami out of these other people that didn't show up there? Think about it there, you know? But I wish all the best for Big Rami and all the other athletes that are going to com uh, that are going to compete at the Mr. Olympia. I think it's going to be a great show. And even though I don't think uh, Nick Walker is going to pl is going to place, I don't think he's going to win Mr. Olympia. I think he's going to place out of the top five because uh, I think he's going to have trouble cutting down and getting shredded there. That's where. Uh, everything comes down to, you know, it's not a size contest as well. Point blank period. If you want to see Nick Walker compete against Big Rami, just wait for the Mr. Olympia, okay? Don't speculate. Don't go and drag his name in the mud or anything for a situation that you, you simply don't know uh, whatsoever, okay? It's good to speculate, but to drag someone's name in the mud, especially a reigning defending Mr. Olympia, is simply ridiculous here, you know? 
you can't and not only that you can't disrespect the person and then give explanations there and point that out in the very same video there because yes he's a, a citizen of egypt he's going to have visa issues he's going to have travel issues he has more expenses uh of doing guest poses in the united states than any other bodybuilder that is uh based in america okay that's all I got to say today, people. Uh, like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. Click down below, folks.